All right, guys, so today we are looking at the solfege on the treble clef and in the key of C. Now, in order to really talk about all this solfege, uh, I need to do an introduction for a solfege. Solfege is what we use to turn our voices into instruments that can play or, or that can sing any specific note we want to, we want it to. All right, so usually we can just, we hear something and we can sing along with it or we hear something and we repeat the sound. So someone sings, Mary had a little lamb, and then you repeat it. Mary had a little lamb. But how does that relate to our notes written onto the staff? And how are we able to translate notes that are written on the staff into sound like that without having to hear the notes first? Okay, so without even having to hear anyone sing the song before we are able to do it. Okay, so that's what solfege lets us do. So let's take a look at these resources. Um, now, these resources are linked in the website. Um, for module five, it's for the choir. It talks all about the solfege. Okay. And when we talk about solfege, just like we when we we're talking about the lines and spaces of the staff, we talk about from going low to high. We'll always start with the low ones. So on the bottom, we have do. Okay, and I'm going to be singing this in my range. Um, if you have a higher voice, you'll be singing it up an octave. Do. Okay, up that high. So I'm going to start out at this low note. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. Okay, and once I've set my key, so right now we're in the key of C, once I've set my key, the relative pitch will stay the same. So um, a mi is always going to be do mi. The mi is always going to be right there when we have the do right here. The so will always be so, okay, every single time. And if you go back and play both the scale and when I was singing each note separately, you'll hear those are the same note. So that's what the solfege is letting us do. It's letting us keep in together with our same notes. So that's what the solfege does. Take a look at this one. This shows our chromatic solfege. So if you have a sharp do, it's a D. If you have a flat re, it's ra. Um, and this is showing all the hand signs and all of those for sharp or flat um, solfege syllables. Um, and we don't memorize these, but we do have this sheet here for reference. All right. So what do the solfege, what does the solfege look like when you are reading it on the treble clef? Okay. So in this case, right here, I am showing do being right there. That is because we are in the key of C and middle C is our low do, um, and then that C on the third space is our high do. And maybe we have some more notes, you can see right here, we have some more notes that go up above that. So our low do um, is written right here on the treble clef, okay, and on the piano it's do, that note right there. And you can hear it's a bit high in my voice. Um, which is why the treble clef is for high voices. Okay, I'm going to drop it down an octave and sing it in my range. But we have do right there, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And then up above the high do, re, me fa so okay we have all of these notes and we have those specific notes and um 
when music is written out onto the staff, I can take a look at it, figure out my solfege, and then um, go from there. So if I have do, 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 so, fa, mi, re, do, so, fa, mi, re, do, so, fa, mi, fa, re, I can sing it, right? That's the, uh, um, that's a theme from Star Wars. And we can have any sort of music written out using this solfege. Okay, um, the rest of this page goes through the descriptions of what our steps are um, and what to do when we have, when we don't have it in a nice line like this where we have our steps up and down. Okay, if you are skipping re, then you go straight to me, right? The re is on the space below the staff um, and the do is on the ledger line below the staff. So me is on that bottom line. And if you know where do is, you can figure out where any of the others are. For that matter, if you know where a so is, you can figure out where everything else is. As long as you know where one of these solfege syllables are for the treble clef um, and in our key, whatever the key happens to be, it can go up and down. Okay, um, so right here on this one, this shows some more. Um, notice, let's see, the me right here and the me right there they're in the same spot on the treble clef, so they're both me's because we're still in the key of C. Right, and if you want to, you can figure out the rest of these right here from the solfege practice for you. Next up, um, on this page, we also have another example of how to step up and down on the staff. Really important on this page is um, these figures and showing you what is wrong with them. Okay, so on number one, we did not uh, account for this step in between, right? We have the re in between the do and the mi. Um, so that one would be wrong. Um, notice on this one, this is not in the key of C. It's not in any key. We don't have a clef. Okay, so we just put do on one of the notes and all the other notes follow from that do for this example. Right? It doesn't matter um, for our solfege um, exactly where it's at. It matters what key it's in and where our do is. So if we can figure out where do is, it will help us get to all the rest of the notes. All right, and on this page, we are learning about the key signatures and how to find do from the key signature. So the important thing to know for right now, you can go back and reference this later when we get into our different key signatures, but for right now, all you need to know is do moves around on the staff. If do is higher on the treble clef, then you we have a higher do. If do is lower on the treble clef, then it's a lower do, but do will move around to different spots on the treble and bass clef. For today, right now, we are just learning do in the key of C. Do in the key of C, right? We are in the key of C. So to help us out with this on your handout, the important one is right here. This will help you out um, and specifically this little section of it. This little section of this page is going to help you out so much. And in fact, I just created a little snippet for us so that we can refer back and forth between this one part and our assignment. So we will flip back and forth between this set of solfege in the key of C and our questions right here. All right, so right here we have the first space above the treble clef. And what is the first space above the treble clef? Okay, well, I know it's not over here. Um, I know it's not over here. Okay, up, up, up. Okay, there's the last, the top line, and the first space above is right there. Okay, so this one is a so. All right, now let's take a look at this one. This one looks like it's a step above. It's on the ledger line above the staff. So it's one step above that so. Okay, what would be a step above so? 
Okay, I don't remember from my solfege, so let's take a look right here. Step up from so would be la. Okay, so this note right here is a la. All right, so important to know, right here we have our so, but this one is also a G. Right, on the treble clef, the step above, the space above the staff, that one is a G. So in the key of C, any G is also a so. And now for uh, question 30, that one is an A. And any A in the key of C on the treble clef, bass clef, actually it doesn't matter, in the key of C, any A would be a la. Now let's take a look at this next one. It's on the uh, fourth line up. So Elvis's guitar broke down. That one is a D. Let's see what the solfege syllable for a D is. Okay, fourth line right there. A D would be re. Okay, second line, number 32, the second line. This one would be um, second line, that one would be a so. And as we learned before, second line Elvis's guitar, that one is a G. Notice our G's are both so's in the key of C. Right, so that's how the solfege and the letter names relate to each other. If we're in the same key, then the solfege will be the same. All right, and re. This one is a re on the space below the staff. And just to prove it to you again, re, right there. All right, and the ledger line below the treble clef. First ledger line below the treble clef, that one is our middle C, do. And this is one that you should definitely have memorized. This middle C, where it is at, make sure you have that memorized. All right, so that's all I'm going to do for this lecture on our solfege and our note names. Remember, be better than you are yesterday.